Hey guys, it's Alexa again, and you're watching Teltanic. The internet can be a pretty daunting, overwhelming, and intimidating space, but it can also be an incredible place where you can learn so much, stay connected, and brighten up an otherwise unexciting day. Bring on the memes, Grumpy Cat, Hell Hell and Smash. Number 32, crunch the numbers. Considering there are roughly 7.5 billion people in the world, it's crazy to think that almost half of them use the internet. And of that half, almost 1.7 billion of them are Asian. 98% of users are between the ages of 18 to 29 years old. Number 31, safety in numbers. The numbers differ in terms of just how many websites there are. September 2014 recorded the highest number at 1 billion, but it has declined since then. Netcraft says that as of right now, there are 644 million active websites. Some other numbers include 172 million Tumblr blogs, 75.8 million blogs and business sites on WordPress, and every day there are 2 million blogs uploaded. Number 30, Surf's Up. It's been 26 years since the term surfing the internet was coined. We can thank New York librarian Jean Armour Polly for coming up with the idea, although we're not sure genuine surfers were too happy. Number 29, name your price. Google AdWords range in pricing, but the average cost per click in Google Ads is between $1 and $2 on the search network. The most expensive AdWord cost $935, which was Best Mesothelioma Lawyer. Overall, the attorney AdWords were of the costliest. Number 28, knowledge is power. Research suggests that the average news website today has as much information as a person living in the 18th century could learn. The study was done by Martin Gilbert, a researcher at the University of Southern California, who also said a person living 100 years ago could only master 50 books in his lifetime, whereas today, a person can absorb as many as 600,000 books. We're not sure about you, but we're inclined to be wary of those statistics. Number 27, let's hook up. When YouTube was just starting out, it was initially intended to be a dating site. Some inside stories have claimed that the site was going to be called Tune In Hook Up, which drew its inspiration from Hot or Not. Something changed and the three founders decided to skip that idea and go in a different direction. There are two incidents that did occur though that saw the rise of YouTube. Firstly, Jod Karim wanted to view Janet Jackson's famous wardrobe malfunction but couldn't find video footage. And secondly, Chen and Hurley wanted to share some video footage of a dinner party, but the email attachment restrictions wouldn't allow them to do so. Begin the rise of YouTube. Number 26, recovery period. In China, there are treatment camps to help battle internet addiction. There are 644 million registered internet users in China, and many of them lose all self-control when they're online. The recovery program has been extremely beneficial to many. Number 25, hack away. Every single day, over 30,000 websites are hacked. Initially, it sounds pretty bad, but when you think of the hundreds of thousands of websites there are, then it seems pretty small in comparison. It could also mean that people are to protect their sites a lot more effectively than before. Number 24, a little name dropping. Choosing a domain name can be rather daunting and every hour, 5,000 new ones are registered around the world. So basically every day there are 120,000 new domains resulting in 43 million every year. More than 75% of those are not even active, which can be frustrating when you can't register the domain name of your choice. Number 23, power struggle. With billions of electronic devices connected to the internet at any given time, how much power would it take to keep the internet running? Russell Seitz and Michael Stevens looked at the figures and came up with 50 million brake horsepower to keep the internet running. Number 22, music to my ears. There are 70 million paying Spotify customers at the moment, and they're streaming music all the time. Spotify released a list of their most streamed songs with the downloads in the billions. Here they are. Ed Sheeran with Shape of You, Drake, One Dance, The Chainsmokers, Closer, Major Lazer, Lean On, Ed Sheeran again, Thinking Out Loud, Justin Bieber, Sorry, Luis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee with, you guessed it, Despacito, I'll play it in a minute, Justin Bieber, Love Yourself, The Chainsmokers, Don't Let Me Down, and Mike Posner, I Took a Pill in Ibiza. Number 21, it's a zoo in here. The very first YouTube video was called Me at the Zoo and it featured Jawed Karoom, we mentioned him earlier, at the San Diego Zoo. It was uploaded on the 23rd of April, 2005. Number 20, you've got mail. Each day there are roughly 247 billion emails sent, give or take a few hundred thousand. Sadly, a whopping 90% of them are spam or viruses, so always be vigilant unless you want an unexpected bride rocking up at your doorstep. 
Number 19, just ask Google. Google can handle around 35 billion queries every month, and we do kind of ask Google everything. Some have dubbed it Dr. Google, where you look up your symptoms and you feel like you're gonna be in a coma within minutes after accidentally eating a dodgy muscle. Honestly, where do we find our answers in the good old days? Number 18, fooled you once, fooled you twice, and then again, and again. YouTube has become known for their annual April Fool's pranks, and that's where the first ever Rickroll made its debut. In 2009, it turned YouTube upside down, and the tradition has stuck around ever since. In case you're not familiar with Rickrolling, it first featured on YouTube in 2007, and it was an internet meme that enticed people into clicking a URL that contained a video of Rick Astley's song, Never Gonna Give You Up. Luckily, it only lasted a couple years, although you can never be too sure. Every now and again, it does happen. Number 17, on replay. There have been a number of singles that have broken records in terms of how many views they have received on YouTube, like Gangnam Style, which became the first video to receive more than 2 billion views. That was back in May 2014. Then in August 2017, that record was broken by Despacito, which garnered 3 billion views. In August of 2018, there were 24 videos that had all gone past 2 billion views. Three exceeded 3 billion views, and now Despacito has surpassed 5 billion views. Number 16, perfect match. 40% of Americans use online dating, and we're sure that you know at least one couple who have ended up marrying thanks to hooking up via the internet. This industry is a huge money spinner and generates roughly $1 billion every year. Number 15, thumbs up. Facebook can boast an impressive 2.23 billion users each month, which is about 18% of the world's population. 2018 stats state that 1.47 billion people use Facebook every day. Five new profiles are created every second, and the highest traffic occurs midweek between 1 to 3 p.m. Number 14, a weighty issue. So have you ever wondered how much the internet literally weighs? We haven't, if we're being honest, but there are some who have, and Russell Seitz is one of them. He did the sums and concluded that the internet weighs roughly two ounces, basically the weight of a single strawberry. Number 13, double time. Every 60 seconds, there are 300 hours of content loaded onto YouTube. 1.3 billion people have YouTube accounts and up to five billion videos are watched every single day. Number 12, Say Cheese. It was 1979 when the first smiley face made its appearance. Kevin McKenzie was trying to express how he felt electronically, and he did a dash and a closed bracket. Three years after that, Scott Fallman added the colon, and that's where it all began. We're glad you were happy, Kevin. Number 11, at lightning speed. They say the speed of the internet often helps to sell a home, but even if yours is fast, it will never be as fast as it is in South Korea and Japan. Akamai says their internet speed is the best at 22 megabits per second, whereas the average internet speed in the US is a mere 8.4. Number 10, how appropriate. The Apple App Store launched in July 2008, with 10 million apps being downloaded on the very first weekend of its launch. Today, Android users can choose from 3.8 million apps to download, and Apple users have a selection of 2 million. Number 9. You're just a number. We all have at least one device connected to the internet at any given time. You have to wonder how many devices are connected at once. Well, the answer is 8.7 billion. It's expected to hit the 40 billion mark by 2020. Number eight, shut it down. Since 2009, seven million GeoCities sites have been shut down. When the internet was still fairly new, people would create a GeoCity, securing their little spot on the internet. The result was millions of terrible quality personal websites. Yahoo shut everything down and removed every single one in 2009. Number seven, traffic jam. The majority of YouTube's traffic is courtesy of countries outside of the US. YouTube is currently available in 76 languages and has local versions in 70 countries around the world. Do you have any idea where the most non-US YouTube views come from? We bet you don't. Well, the answer is Saudi Arabia, which amasses 90 billion daily views. Apparently, TV, Facebook, and Twitter are banned in Saudi Arabia, but YouTube is left open and unrestricted. Therefore, it's the only source of entertainment available, and it's used to its fullest advantage. Number six, NSFW. Most of the images available online are of, well, women in their birthday suits. In fact, it's as high as 80%. Apparently 12% of all the websites are not safe for surfing at work. One out of every three downloads done is also not safe for work. Sunday is the day when the most explicit material is downloaded and the online adult industry makes around $3,000 per second. Number five, leading the way. When it comes to how much of the population is on the internet, Norway is leading the way big time. 98% of their population are online compared to the USA with only 88% of their population on the internet. 
Number four, Kiss Me Quick. The most searched for how-to video on YouTube is thanks to teenagers across the globe because it is how to kiss. Interestingly, the second most searched for how-to topic is how to tie a tie. Anything you wanna know, just ask YouTube or Google. Number three, don't believe everything you read because 51% of all internet traffic is not real. We as humans only make up 49% of the traffic while the rest is made up from bots and spamming software. We'd probably have faster bandwidth if it wasn't for this. Number two, on a good note, the most researched for topic on YouTube is music. We're actually relieved to hear that because this could have gone a ton of different ways. YouTube is the perfect place to watch your favorite tunes, see the latest music videos, and let your favorite artists know you're enjoying what they're producing. Number one, lucky number seven. So what happens if things had to go for some weird reason horribly wrong and the entire internet just shut down? Well, who would you call? It seems one of seven people could assist you. Seven people are in control of the internet. They are assigned to the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers. And if a catastrophe had to happen, these guys would meet and try to solve the issue. Let's hope they are never, ever needed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video and let us know down below if you learned anything new. Remember to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more daily content.